the suspicious silver market. What has happened as we see things are changing in the silver market? And are you ready for what's coming? Today, I will discuss what I've noticed recently in the silver market, especially the premiums on the American Silver Eagles. I have seen it today as low as $5.59 over spot. When did you last see premiums on the American Silver Eagles that low? All right, let's get into it. Hello, and thank you for joining me here at Cash and Coins. I hope you're doing well. Is the silver market about to crash? Is it all downhill from here? Are we about to see silver under $20? In today's video, I will discuss what I have read in the media. Now, is it good news or is it bad news? And which do you want first? Well, you might find out that they both can be true. But first, let's look at this article from Kitco. Now, you know Kitco is a big pusher on the metals. But this article is a little different. It's titled, Silver Prices Struggling as Market Ignores Robust Economic Data. All right, I'll just read you a real quick little snippet out of here. The silver market has given up nearly half its gains made earlier this year as the precious metal sees no benefit from improving economic activity in the U.S. that is helping ease recession fears. Silver prices have managed to hold support above $24.25 an ounce. However, the precious metal is looking to end the week in negative territory. September futures last traded at $24.43 an ounce, down 1.7% from last Friday's close. Meanwhile, prices are down 4% after hitting a 10-week high last week. Some analysts note that silver continues to be tied at the hip to gold as upbeat economic data has provided little momentum to silver as an important industrial metal. So what they're saying is right now silver is going with gold, but as we know, 50% of the silver purchases are done for industrial purposes. So once that kicks in, the silver price can keep going up. But we got to wait for that. But reading that, I did a quick Google search. And I found that the World Bank predicts silver in 2023 through 2024 to be at $21 per ounce. $21. Now, is that okay? Well, one, one thing before I give you my answer. This is another Kitco article. A top producer said in this Kitco article that profits are down 36%. They are even cutting their dividends. So does this mean that silver has peaked? Is this the beginning of the end? Should we go and sell all of our silver now before it drops any further? I'm saying you can if you want. Am I? No. No, not at all. I do predict that silver will drop and rise. Yes, because that's what silver does. Now, if silver drops to $19, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy more. I know you've heard me and many of us on YouTube say it a million times, buy the dip. And I'm not telling you to keep your silver or your gold. I'm not telling you to buy the dip. I'm saying sell it if it doesn't make sense to you anymore. But I want to give you a few words of wisdom from a billionaire. This is the quote here. Bad news is an investor's friend. A stock market crash is a golden opportunity to top up one's holdings. And that's according to the billionaire Warren Buffett. So you can cash in and move on. Gold and silver will definitely not fail you if you don't own any of it. As long as I've been stacking, I have seen both. I see those who hold it and I see those who sell. Well, I've also seen a third one. Those who keep on buying. And yeah, that's me. I definitely have kept on buying. Now look, bottom line, don't follow the hype. Do what works best for you. As I said before, look at these prices on the American Silver Eagle. You know, from reading the news and stuff, you know, they're, they're slowing down and all that. To me, that just tells me now that there's a buildup of inventory. So they got to drop the premiums so they can start selling these American Silver Eagles. It's that simple to me. 
Now you can buy as much as you want, as much as you can afford. And when it pops up again, you can make a killing. Will it ever go up? Well, I can tell you, yes. Let me tell you. I can tell you that the market historically, as I said before, it does pop up, then it crashes back down, but it always pops back up. Now, this is important here. With all the changes in the economy, in the world economy, with BRICS moving forward with their currency, with the Chinese yuan, have you read that? It's moving to take over the dollar. I want to have a physical asset that will hold its value in any fiat currency, whether it is the British pound or the European euro or the Chinese yuan. And for that, that asset for me is silver and gold. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you something to think about. I do want to thank you for watching Cash and Coins. Please leave me some comments down below. Don't forget to hit the like if you enjoyed this video. And as I always, always say, have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next video.